Alright people, welcome back. More Lime and Y. So today is Monday, and that means that we are using Ubel Art Streams. So this video is probably going to be late. I, I pretty much got to have it recorded, rendered, and uploaded in like 17 minutes, which is not physically possible. <laughs> Unless this video is like literally like 2 seconds. Alright, that's the end of the video guys. You haven't even done it yet. No, but seriously. Uh, DM was down for a cool minute, you know, was, for hours, I was sitting there, and I'm like, Dan, you know, I would like to, uh, record, I was also like to get a better hand, but I like to record, and fucking DM was just down, you know, if I had just, like, one sender, like a dark refer, or I'm again a knight, this hand would be fine, totally fine, just anybody send, got a dark hole in regeki, so, and he's giving me life points, so at the very least, maybe I can hold out until then, hold out until... I get someone to help to help me send. So right now it's not looking too good. Oh, look at that foolish. I wish I had that foolish. Can I have that foolish? Can I use your foolish? Can I ha can I summon that fucking uh, synchro monster with that that s super heavy samurai guy that I can use a spell in your graveyard? <laughs> because I need. I would love that foolish. Really? You can I send dry? I have all things to send. I mean, it's pretty obvious it's, it's infinity dot deck, but I'm just like, really? Some dry? Like, okay. Activate the cyber pants that you just search for. Search for, I don't know. Another dry? I, foolish and dry, that was weird. It really was. That's never a card that I foolish. Not at all. Like. Doesn't really have some weird graveyard effect, so I have no idea what's up with that. Oh, well, when I kill the core, it's guaranteed that infinity's gonna come. Guaranteed. Oh, that's weird. Well, there's Dark Draft. Let's just do a card later. Well, there's no point in me killing the core right now. Which is I can't do any damage, but pretty much as soon as core, core leaves the field, you can go banish core, put some summon dragon, summon that, and then bam, there's infinity. So, it's not looking good for me. I can only send you battle. Oh, I can get an arch. If I could get an arch fiend on the field, I could falling down and take his core. I mean, his infinity, that would be so fucking just... Oh my god, if I did that? I think about it, if I just did that. That's all I got in this turn. MST? MST? Wow, he's just... Turboing through his deck. He is hoping. Alright, that's fine. I'm done with my turn. I mean, go ahead and click that, you know, take your turn button. Unclick the auto draw and take your turn. Or we can just sit here. This guy, he's drawing so much. So much. I guess it's now he's thinking. Okay. Traps them, that's fine. Okay. Going over, going to infinity. Get back in that extra deck. Oh, yeah, some of that. And get back in that extra deck, some of that infinity. Get in there. There you go.
Mm-hmm. You got 2700. Yeah, you're 2700. 700 and 1800. Hmm. Thing with masculinity is that I can't. I can only special summon from my actual deck any turn. You activate this effect. I might just have to throw it at him. Thunder and Dark Hole, throw the Regeki at him. Now. I'm calling Regeki. This seems like the only way. And then hope and pray that he can't make another one. Go ahead and get it. There'd be no reason for you not to get it. Off my field. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about him. Did he use? He didn't use his uh, thing. He can banish. Oh, never mind. He has another infinity because he can go banish core special summon cyber dragon. Normal summon that. Make it fly. Bing, bam. Again. Again. God. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose this duel. Like infinity is just way too powerful. It takes way too much out of me to fucking beat infinity. Yep, yeah, banish core, banish special summon cyber dragon. He doesn't even need to draw. That's the thing. Banish core, core, banish special summon cyber dragon. Summon that. Make them both fly. Bait infinity. Uh, oh, never mind. He has institution too. Never mind. Here it comes. Infinity again. Infinity, 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 infinity. It's like, oh my god. Infinity's fucking busted. It's so easy to make. Like, what? Konami, you're on crack. You're on crack with Infinity. You should have never made that card. Should have never made it, but hey. Like, Summer Dragon's the most powerful shit in the universe. Like, okay. Yep, I must definitely lose. The only way I don't lose is if I draw an Train card. Because I can. Because. I yeah, you know, during it, he's gonna obviously negate my E-Bell. So during the event, I can activate the reverse, summon back E-Bell, draw into an Archfiend card, try to turn U-Bell to defense, it'll get the sword, or I can, you know, summon an Archfiend and, you know, activate Falling Down, he'll negate it clearly, and then I can go ahead and go into Terror, or take his monster. So, you know, either or, you didn't have to turn them to attack position, they were gonna go to attack position when you exceeded, but hey, whatever. Wow, Pleiades. That's even worse. That was not what I was anticipating at all. <sighs> I would have drew one too. God, I wish I could just get this Ubel out of my hand. Now it's in my hand and I can't do anything about it. I did not expect Pleiades. Not at all. Summon Emperor, and then he'll have to bounce me because if he doesn't, I'm gonna destroy him. So, normal summon. Okay. Not gonna fall him down. So, either you bounce me or I pop you. The choice is yours. Either way, I'm still just in a conundrum right now. Fucking return my Ubel to my hand. Oh, fuck. I have no wastes or calls or anything. I got this limit reverse and I have nothing to summon with it. Hmm. I got the life points. I'm thinking about summoning Eris and then taking, falling down and taking his Pleiades. <sighs> Seems like a fine idea. I'm gonna summon. Okay. 
because Emperor is going to die at the end phase anyway, and then I can always limit reverse summon Eris again and pull him down. I really wish I had a Gaia Charger up in here, just like a slap it on top of the Pleiades, and then he wouldn't even get it back. So it's like during each of your opponent's time of phase, I take it. I mean, I'm probably still going to lose this duel, but, you know, I tried my best. You can't say I didn't. I wish I had a Gaia Charger so bad. Uh, go ahead. So I take 800 damage during my opponent's time of phase. So summon, summon, make an infinity, take the please, and tack over me. Do you have the you have the resources to make another infinity? I'll do summon honest. Survive the attack at least. <sighs> attack me for fifteen hundred. Three hundred life points left. It is nineteen hundred. So the duel literally comes down to that back row. Because I'm going to summon the Emperor, Emperor effect, banish, pot, falling down, take your please again, and attack you directly for game. So it literally comes down to this piece of back row right here. You want to turn the Honest to your hand? Might as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Another piece of back row. All right. If I black rows right now, I'm going to lose the duel. Yeah. Because... I know he has honest to attack me directly. Alright. Well, this is it. This will decide the winner of the duel. Normal summon. Okay. This will, this will be it. This will decide the winner. Did I destroy the wrong one? Falling down, Whew. it's like snatch steel. It's like fucking snatch steel. I beat infinity. Yes. Whew. And that's why uh, you don't fuck with you, Arthur, because fucking falling down is just a powerful card. Like, I don't even care if I'm destroyed during the end phase. I just wanted to sit. All right, we'll get another duel. I'm happy I beat him. I, I, I was like, God, I'm gonna get sacked. He just did. Good thing he just didn't run any back row. I was like, well, I was like, that other card, it wasn't anything last time I hit him, so why would it be anything this time, you know? <clears throat> that new card, I was like, what is that new card? Gotta get rid of it. Alright. Okay, well, this hand's not the best of hands, but let's have a 19 beat. I'm gonna take Bill Slow. I'm, I'm gonna allow him to reveal his deck to me before I push the new plays. Not like Calvary can do much right now. What's up with me not drawing any Dark Greffers, Armageddon Knights, Foolishes, Rotas? Like, what's up with that? Like, one-fourth of my deck is that shit, and it's just like, nah, I don't get none of it. Like, okay, okay, thank you. Dark on that deck. Okay. Oh, okay. Because usually Stumber Monk is playing Dark Log that deck. I'm sorry for assuming that you're going to be playing that. <coughs> All right. Get your Blaze Accelerator. Summon your Rocket. Rocket Effect. Search for reload. 
Oh, you want that back? Okay. You can search from your deck and deck then, but okay. That's what you want to do. XC into the wobble chain. I knew he was going to attack with it. You better just go in the level chain and get yourself set up and in your turn. So, he'll probably go into XC until the level chain. I'll summon Calvary, run over the level chain, and he'll probably set this up to kill me. And I can go ahead and summon, banish, pop, and I can use Oasis to summon it back. Yeah, obvious plays are obvious. Let's see how much back row you set, because... You know, you're not playing good volcanics, but volcanics is a very back row heavy deck, so you probably send shell shell pay Obvious plays are obvious. I'm reading you like a book. I'm fucking let me go ahead to the library and then check out the book uh Sky Sky Swimmer right now. Shell effect, pay five hundred, get the shell, so you can have your freaking reload. So you can have your blaze accelerator. I don't know why you got that back and not reload, but like this is the only play that caught me off guard because it wasn't the most optimal play. I'll see how much back row you set. An ass hat ton. I know something. Okay. Falling down's a nice top deck. After I falling down, take the whole chain uses the fact. You have the MST? You have the MST, use it. I don't really care. So unless MST I have to worry about the future, then I'll just run over the wobble chain. Sure. Kinda wanted to use it for its effect, but that's fine. I'll just kill it. Okay, well that's at the end of my main phase, so. Yeah, you can't actually technically do that now, but I didn't say, you know, I'm going to end in my main phase, so I'll allow you to have it. You gonna take your damage? Thank you. Pay 500, grab another shell. Oh, okay. When this card's turn, it's not even good volcanics. Just weird. The <laughs> <clears throat> route is nice, but I gotta kind of handle that. So. I'm gonna go ahead and summon the Emperor, Emperor, Banish, pop that, and hit you for 15 directly. Unless he wants to go ahead and, you know, do his whole Regeki thing, which he can. Oh, well, I'm in a conundrum. You know what? Take a little slow. I don't, I, can, I don't need to handle that with Emperor. I can handle that with you, though. So even if he goes ahead and uses uh, his thing. Back. You want to chain your reload and blow me up? I don't really care. <clears throat> Can't send you the hell. No. Alright. What do you have? Probably grab the MST. Four, hello? 
You cannot grab that rocket. If you grab that rocket, you can't grab that. You revealed four, not three. I don't know why. But I'm just going to assume that you misclicked the rocket. Cannot grab the rocket. Because you shouldn't even be... You shouldn't be looking at that rocket right now. I'm going to put the rocket back. You can't grab... Hello? 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 You... Can not grab... Oh my god. Grab rocket. Wow. Wow. Rocket. Wow. 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 Super cheating. Super cheating. Are you shitting me? You revealed four. You revealed four. Are you shitting me? You revealed... Oh my god. Revealed four cards. Rocket was the fourth. Oh my god. You're so fucking bad. Are you shitting me? I thought that was a misclick. No, you actually thought you could go pot and reveal four cards and then grab the fourth card. Are you fucking shitting me? You revealed four cards. <laughs> like, wow. Like, did you seriously not think? Like, did you seriously not think? Like, three. Put rocket back, grab something else. So you can either get monk, royal, or or uh scatter shot. No, it wasn't monkey, it was MST. Yeah. MST Royal or Scatter Shot. And I personally I would grab the Royal. <laughs> grab the Royal, activate shell. Yeah. I know you have a volcanic scatter shot, so go ahead and just get fucking Royal. Why'd you think it was four? Like, he must not put it in a long while, because pot, everybody knows pot's three. You know, it's scatter shot. That's fine. I would have grabbed Doriel. Personally, but, hey. I guess you want to go ahead and activate your blaze accelerator, the regular one, then pitch the scatter shot, blow me up, then. You can't, you can't do the additional thing unless you wipe me, though. That's the thing. I'll take this. Uh, oh, Bell, draw, done by phase, main phase, in defense, effect. Hair. Alright. Ending my main phase. I want to play anything. That sucks. <sighs> you know, I'm thinking about activating Oasis, summoning you, Bell, and then Dark Holing. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. sound drawn to fucking terror again. I wonder what this card is. I kinda wanna get rid of it. I know at least one card in his hand, unless he has the blades accelerator in his hand, so right now I'm sitting okay. Yeah, you know what? Something effect. Try. Trying to push right now. It's the best time to push. 
you know, waste resources, but it's better than drawing Terra, and at least have Terra back on the field. The only monsters up summon this turn are fiends. You bell, you bell, you bell. What's this? Look through the opponent for each card they control. This card on the field is destroyed by opponent's card. Bring to the card for thousands. Okay. Guess. I was just hoping it wasn't like a, you know, a reload or something. Wait, I know both the cards in his hand. He has the scatter shot and the reload. Okay. So, you're just gonna do that. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'll get all some nightmare. So. No, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's attack was have you only take English. It's like 3,000, like what, what the hell? Something one of his cards to make him take 3,000? Like what the fuck? Yeah. Alright, so, uh, you had that accelerator. Blaze Accelerator, you can pitch the scatter shots, and another scatter shots, wipe me. I take fifteen hundred, that's fine, I summon ultimate nightmare. And then you have this one card in your hand that I do not know what it is. Besides that I'm sitting okay in this duel. Not fantastic. I'd be more fantastic if I had another piece of revival. That's what I really want right now, some more revival. Just gonna set a card. Okay. Hmm, sure dodge. Alright, well, I can go. <clears throat> Little them, excuse me. I go summon Tour God. Tour God summon Eris XC into Fortune Tune. And, uh, have Fortune Tune pretty much detached when Terra wipes. Right? This card cannot be targeted, so when you destroy, I can detach. And I still get the effect. As long as it's not, uh, by, you know, trigger. Summon Tour God. Effect. Summon Eris. Oh, you want to just play vanities. That that's totally fine. You got your limited card, I got my limited card. Seems chill. Go ahead. I didn't see the I didn't see Mac Vanities vanities because I was pulling up the uh deck already. Finish up another shell. <clears throat> so you're gonna have to make Blaze Accelerator, pitch the shell, destroy this, and your vanity stays, because says when a card is sent from the deck or field to Gary, not the hand. Obvious plays are obvious. And don't get all to nightmare either. See you. Uh, yeah. Someday. Eris, Eris, go ahead and search me for cavalry. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you to death, pretty much. I don't know what this is. I know what you have in your hand. So if you want to go ahead and activate Buzz Accelerator again and pitch a whole bunch, I don't care. Right. Right now, you can't do any damage to me, and I can just keep on putting monsters on the board, which is pretty much what I have to do right now. And if you destroy this guy by card effect, then I get... Oh, no, I don't, because of vanities. I said, eventually, you're just going to run out of steam, so... There's really no point in me, uh... Doing much, you're gonna run out. Of, you're gonna run out of cards to pitch on our steam. So you want to use that again? If you pitch again, go ahead. But you know you can't stretch the summon either, and I'm just gonna keep poking you. Hope you top deck into like a. At this point, there's really not much unless that back row or something has completely stopped me. 
Like, you're going too defensive on this duel, so. This is cute with the whole. This, this is what you're doing right now. It's cute, but it's a little bit too defensive. Oh, wait, this effect is mandatory. When, this, when you take Battle Young Gods, you can grab your you banish, banish this card from your grave, and then if there's a fire of the other than Volcanic County, you're going to put that. Oh, that's mandatory. That is mandatory. Mandatory. <clears throat> you had to. You didn't have a choice. As soon as I hit you, you had it, it activated. <laughs> If you said you can, then I'm like, oh, well, you get to choose. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> Again? You, you can't use that effect if I have no monsters on field. You can't scatter, sc scatter can't activate if I have no monsters on field. In which I wouldn't because you go blaze accelerator, pitch, destroy, then scatter shot goes. Scatter shot goes off after blaze accelerator resolves, in which scatter shot can't go off because I have no monsters on the field. It's not that difficult. No, you cannot send, you cannot use its, oh my god, its effect if, oh my god, if I have no monsters on field, you cannot activate the effect of Scattershot. I played Volcanics. <laughs> You know what's not weird? You know what? You know what? What? Not even worth arguing. Arguing about. You don't know, and you're not listening. I just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go with what you think. Like I said, I, I don't care. So. <sighs> Whatever. Not even worth arguing. I'll let you have it. Even though you're wrong, I'll let you have it. Like I said, this, it comes down to this card right here. If this isn't anything to stop me, then you lose, so... You want to play it or not? It doesn't matter. You need to play. If you don't play it, you lose, so... It's fine. Vanity's is gone. You take what? 700? It's fine. I don't care. So, if you top decked into uh, uh, Volcanic, then attack after me, but then I'll just go ahead and activate and block your attack, and then you'll be like, oh, Blaze Killer, did you miss it? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, that doesn't change anything. Okay.
So you can't even use this because you technically did declare an attack and that's game. Oh, this is a long video, but hey, I won. Beat two decks that I shouldn't be beating, but hey, neither of them were that good. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call episode of Vitamin Y, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Plug Wishes Bell. Alright people, thanks for watching.